Hey guys, Yarek here and welcome to Emberscape. Year 2022 wasn't a bad one for me fossils wise. In this video I will show you my best humble finds I managed to find in 2022. And this season started in Latvia, Lepaya, with some beachcombing finds. I have no idea. It's the first time I'm seeing such a thing. I will leave a caption of what it is. It looks really unique. Cool. Really cool. And the color is superb. Nice. This is Protoheliolithus tablet coral that has over 400 million years old. It is extremely well preserved and have gorgeous peach color. So Greta found another piece of Orthoceras. This one is a lot more impressive. This baby is going home. Ah, this is very nice piece. We'll go on the display. Then I found quite a few nice fossils from the Cretaceous deposits in Akmenius region in Lithuania. Aha, look at this. This could be very impressive gastropod if prepped. Awesome, awesome. Some nice colors over here. Yeah, and this block I'm taking with me, complete. <laughs> so this is first nice find, and it's possible that something else in there. If you are lucky, in this sand quarry you can find black or brown concretions filled with fossilized marine life, like gastropods, bivalves, and if you are very lucky, rainbow ammonites. Oh my god. Unfortunately, most of the big ammonites are usually not complete from this location, like this beautiful but partial piece. But this year I managed to find quite a few small rainbow ammonites pieces from these concretions, and I have removed each single one from the matrix. Also there is interesting big bivalve or something like that in here, I'm not sure what it is exactly while it's not washed, but I will take this piece as a whole, we will prep it at home and we'll see what it is. Then I visited beautiful local rivers, which sometimes rewards me with amazing Silurian coral specimens. Finally, a fossil and a big one at like that. And I do know these patterns. <laughs> Hello, beauty. Let's clean it off a bit. Yes, it is a coral. And this is Syringopora uh, fossil tablet coral from the Silurian epoch. Like very, very old. Let's clean it off a bit. And this is exactly what I'm looking for. Big, chunky, nice corals. Oh, baby, I'm happy now. Another unusual rock. And it is, yep, a colony of corals. But what kind of corals? Let's check. Interesting. <laughs> it's quite neat. Look at the patterns, it's tiny patterns of Favocita coral. In other words, this is honeycomb coral. Also tabulate, uh, also from the Silurian age. And very nice specimen, like big, like, no, not very big, but for me this is big, because I often think only small chunks. This is so neat, to be honest, like an egg. Yeah, now I'm happy. Another location that I visited quite a few times are my favorite Lithuanian lake, the Kauno Marios, which did produce me quite a few display worthy specimens.
right besides it something else interesting looking and let's pick it up yeah the, the rocks are dirty they will need to be cleaned off <laughs> but look at this wow this is impressive piece of corals we need to clean it off this is so cool two at one spot big ones impressive ones yeah <laughs> display pieces from here it looks magnificent do you see it right in the middle once again come on please baby please baby please 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 yes <laughs> this is the best belly night i have ever found ever not let's not just drop it please this is ah oh, so good it's perfect biggest one no cracks well maybe a little bit Fuck yes. oh, i'm so happy and i was about to leave this location oh my freaking god i need more please more <laughs> no you didn't no you didn't no <laughs> second one and it was like two meters from the last one Fuck yes oh my god oh my god Ah, oh, okay, the, this is now officially a successful hunt for me, absolutely. The keep makers, two of them, need. Also, I found quite a few chain coral pieces at that lake over this year. In raw state, they don't look like much, but after keeping them in ultrasonic cleaner for a few months, they transformed into real beauties. But by far the best find from this lake was this giant block with nicely preserved Orthoceras in it. One of my best finds of the year, if not the best. So I took my time and prepped it. That, there is one more. That's the initial one and there is one more. This is the most complete and biggest Orthoceras fossil I have to date. Looks lovely. And luckily, it wasn't my last good find this year, because before winter, I visited Cretaceous Sand Quarry once again. God damn, look at this road. <laughs> my boots are quite big, I will fucking lose them. Shit. God damn it. Oh god, help me! The road wasn't the best that day, but we managed to reach the destination, and it was well worth it. Yay. You've got a water feeling? Yeah. You've got that one? Nice! <laughs> <laughs> oh. Look! Holy fuck! Okay. <laughs> okay, this one sucks then. <laughs> This concretion to its day waits for its turn to get prepped, but it's very promising, from both sides sticking out two bigger sized rainbow ammonites. Props to Tomek for spotting it, and there was few more respectable finds from the same day. I think that, that's another complete coral. Yeah, <laughs> what a cap! Needs more cleaning, so it's not very pronounced, but I will keep it because it's like complete, you know.
there we go, not a coral. It's quite in poor shape, but it is a gastropod. It's squashed, quite flat. I'm not sure how prepable. Can we prep it a little bit? What do we have? Whoop, whoop, whoop. What's that? Gastropod? Worm coral? What is this? I have no idea, to be honest. It looks freaking awesome, but this one will be will need some prepping. And prepping is exactly what happened for this fossil. And final Cretaceous quarry find was tiny but very colorful rainbow Hello, ammonite. Oh beauty! Yeah, it's empty, empty middle, but it's rainbow ammonite, and we'll try to prep it a bit. So it will go home. And of course, in 2022, I was hunting Baltic amber as well, but it was at the very start of the year. Still counts. <laughs> Amber is fossilized tree raisin from the Eocene, so it is a fossil, and as a bonus I do prep my amber sometimes, find cool inclusions inside. I didn't manage to find any amber at the end of the year, even though I tried, but after the New Year's Eve I will try again. It's gonna be next year in 2023, but it's not that far away. And yeah, that all should have summarized my fossil hunting year of 2022. I hope you all had as much fun this year as I did and looking forward for the next one. This will be it for the video, I hope you did enjoy it and if you did smash that like button and subscribe to my channel if you haven't already for future fossil content and have an amazing new year's eve. Thank you for watching and see you next time, bye!